my name is Ryan Tafumani and I'm a senior developer with uh, Tier 1 Private Limited. I've been with Tier 1 for just over four, five years now and I joined as a software developer with, with Tier 1. So Tier 1 basically is Zimbabwe's largest fixed telecommunication services provider with this main focus being uh, on providing landline technologies for voice calls and uh, also we have uh, ventured into uh, broadband services which is maybe more or less our second best uh, service which we are delivering whereby we deliver uh, broadband services via LTE, via fiber network and ADSL which are the copper cables and we also have satellite services. The challenge which we had with Tel One is uh, since we are now venturing more into the broadband services, we we have uh, more products which are which are being sold now. Like initially, it was just the landline services, so clients need just needed to buy uh, voice uh, vouchers, you know, like uh, minutes. But then we then ventured into broadband services, and uh, for these broadband services, we have different packages. You know, like maybe you have a ten gigabyte package, twenty gigabyte, up to uh, infinity packages, which are unlimited. Right. So the challenge was that our clients had to walk into Tel One to try and buy uh, these uh, products and services. So the situation which we had uh, was we had uh, long lines coming in for people trying to buy these broadband services from us. Then we started going digital now, uh, trying to create some software platforms. So the first one was a, a website which we called our self-service portal where clients would buy using mobile money on, uh, on that platform. But then we also had another challenge whereby, you know, uh, websites are a bit uh, hectic for people who are not so tech savvy. Uh, so, and it also, had the, there's the issue of data. You need uh, data to be able to browse uh, uh, on a website. And usually you have to do it on your, on your laptop. Uh, not many people do the web browsing on, uh, on their mobile phone, stuff like that. So we needed to make our processes more efficient. Then we got to, uh, to bump into WhatsApp services, you know. We felt that people are, like almost everyone in Zimbabwe has a smartphone, they are on WhatsApp. And I think that is uh, the norm now world over. People are now using WhatsApp. So we needed to use WhatsApp, which is uh, more friendly to people, you know. So we also needed an aggregator who was communicated to, who was already integrated with, uh, with the WhatsApp platform, with the WhatsApp business platform. And communicate happened to be one of those. So we needed someone who was efficient and uh, also affordable. So that's how we ran into communicate and we use them for our chatbot servers. We have uh, well structured uh, services whereby one has an option to uh, check their account balances, purchase broadband, recharge a pin which they already have, stuff like that. But if that op the option which they are looking for is not there, they have an option to talk to our call center agents, which is one of the options which we put there and communicate as an option to hand over a conversation to a manual contact center agent who is uh, physical. So that is how we have uh, managed to leverage Communicate. Uh, we were picking around 15,000 for the minimum and we noticed that our unique conversations went to up to, up to as much as 20,000. And uh, oh. that was uh, the, the days we, were, we went for, for the onboarding process. Now the chatbot has been marketed for over a year now and most of our clients are now going for, for the chatbot because maybe communicate like sorry uh, the communication might not be have been effective with our customers at some point in time but over time customers are now familiar with our chatbot and we have a huge influx of uh, customers coming via our, our WhatsApp platform so I'm sure we are now above 20,000. I'm not sure about the exact figure but we have more than 20,000 unique conversations on our platform every month. Right, I think uh, our most loved feature was the one we we're looking for, uh, an integration platform where we can integrate our WhatsApp, uh, our, our chatbot rather, which we built on Dialogflow. So we needed something with a seamless integration uh, with our chatbot from Dialogflow. And Communicate provided that for us to go straight to WhatsApp. And uh, the key feature which we wanted was a conversation end off, whereby you have uh, something which is not part of uh, the unit, the, uh, what can I say, the structured question that we have like uh, recharge broadband, buying a, a, a broadband token, or checking your balance. Like if what you're looking for is not part of those, you want to ask about Tel One, you have an option to talk to a contact center agent and 
communicate as an option to hand over the conversation to a to an agent where they log into the communicate dashboard and they can talk to customers and when they are done they send back that conversation to the chatbot i think that is my favorite feature when it comes to communicate i would say these three platforms combined uh dialogue flow uh whatsapp and uh communicate it is basically a a whatsapp chatbot or a whatsapp robot whereby you give your your request or you send your information to the chatbot and it replies back to you with whatever you're looking for it will give you a response so uh it can be intelligent enough to the point where you can actually put uh, a request in terms of a sentence you actually describe your request and the bot can respond to you or in the simplest of uh, of ways you have structured questions where you list them maybe options are from one to ten or from a to z when you select a letter or when you select a number it gives you a response which uh which works with the request which you had sent through to to the bot i think that's basically how those three platforms work so what i've noticed is there's a reduction in number of people who have been put on uh on a call center duty in terms of answering calls with uh uh what can i say self-help uh, self -help queries like someone wants to purchase broadband someone wants to recharge their account we have more than five contact center, contact center agents which have been moved from uh self-help queries because we have uh, a team of about 20 contact center agents so we have uh, more than 25 percent of those contact center agents being moved from self-help queries because uh the systems are well automated now uh communicate being one of uh the major drivers for for that one so I think uh, that's uh, what to, I, I can say in terms of in terms of the numbers and the impact which I have seen. It's a very efficient integration platform for you to integrate your natural language processing with uh, the WhatsApp platform. So it helps you with uh, chatbot services, and it has uh, features advanced in terms of actually moving your conversation from a chatbot to uh, a physical contact center agent or a, a customer services personnel in your in your company i think that is how communicate can help your business i think yeah so for modern technology in terms of automating your business processes communicate will be the way to go for for that online